I just finished recording a selection of organ works by Flor Peters in Antwerp Cathedral. It will be an SACD released by Aeolus. In the program I played uh, different styles of pieces. Uh, you have some variations, uh, you have choral preludes and of course some of the major works of Flor Peters. It will also give an overview of early works of Flor Peters, starting for instance with the symphonic fantasy and ending also with some of the latest pieces like the Salve Regina, Opus 123. We had an enormous choice from music to, to, to choose because uh, Flor Peters, he composed over 30 hours of organ music alone. That is uh, about the equivalent of the repertoire of Dupré and Tournemir uh, together. So uh, Dupré and Tournemir were actually both good friends of uh, Flor Peters. Uh, they visited his house in Belgium, they had uh, quite some correspondence. And to a certain extent you could uh, say that uh, Flor Peters is a, is a kind of a Flemish Dupré, although you always have to be careful when you're making comparisons. But you see that there are quite some similarities in their career as organists. Uh, first, they were a liturgical organist, they were attached to an important church, which was Mechelen Cathedral for Flor Peters and Saint Sulpice for Marcel Dupré. Then, secondly, they were also uh, very much in demand as a, as, a, as a concert organist. Both have toured extensively in the United States. And then, thirdly, uh, they were very active as, as composers, as we said. And then, finally, uh, they have also been very important as teachers. And it's uh, quite astonishing to see that both also have written quite uh, some chorale preludes in the style of Bach, which uh, partly were aimed at uh, exercise material for, for young students. In fact, Flor Peters composed over more than 300 organ chorales. Uh, that's quite a lot. So we're here in the Church of Christ the King and in the choir stands the organ which uh, Flor Peters used as his study organ at the conservatory which is a few uh, hundred meters uh, nearby. Flor Peters was uh, the professor of organ at the conservatory as from 1948 and he was also a director of this conservatory from 52 till 68. The choir organ was built by Joss Stevens and is still used here in the service. The main organ in this church was built in 1930 by Johannes Kleis from Bonn and it was inaugurated by Flor Peters, which at that occasion also played his own toccata, fugue and hymne on Ave Maristella. Of course, this recording couldn't be complete with his toccata, fugue and hymn on Ave Maria Stella. Uh, first of all, because I think it's his most played work and also it's the work he played himself the most uh, during concerts. It appears to have been written on a, on a train voyage from, from Denmark to Germany and it's uh, dedicated to, uh, to Charlotte Tournemir, his, his good friend.
So the first piece in the recording is the symphonic uh, piece, Opus 13, which was written uh, by, du by uh, Peters when he, he just uh, finished his uh, education as, uh, as, a, as an organist. It's in fact funny that uh, we start with it because he himself did not, uh, he did not play it uh, himself uh, a lot. He did not consider it as uh, one of his best things. Maybe it was uh, youth of, uh, sin of youth. And he afterwards said, uh, in fact, my own compositional style appeared after this, uh, this first work. It's, it's, it's rather free, but it's, it's very joyous. It starts with a, with, a, with a big rhapsody, then followed by a fugue. Uh, it's based on an uh, Alleluia uh, from Easter, which only appears after 60 bars uh, on the volume end, but it's a, it's a very, very joyful piece to start with. So in, in Belgium, of course, a lot of organists played French uh, romantic organ music, and one of the, the populars here was the Suite Cotique by Buellman. So Flor Peters, uh, maybe he, he thought this music was a little bit too sweet, and he wanted to, to make a modern version of, of, of a suite like that. I think that was the reason why he composed the Suite Modal, and we see that the parts of it uh, refer to the, the Suite uh, Gothique of Buellman. You, the first uh, part is a chorale, the second part, Menuet Gothique, uh, Buellman is a, is a scherzo for Peters. The third part is a quiet part, and then, of course, we end with a with a with a blitzing uh, toccata. During the World War II, uh, Flor Peters got requests to, to play in Germany and he, he didn't like to do that at the moment and, uh, because he was uh, maybe a little bit uh, terrified that they would force him to do so. He, he seeked refuge, uh, refuge in the Abbey of Tongelo. There he had the time to realize a big, program, a big uh, project he was programming already for a long time and that was uh, a concerto for organ and orchestra. Now, some of these themes he reworked in a, in a piece for organ uh, solo, which is also uh, included in the recording, and it was ideal for him as a concert uh, repertoire uh, piece for his tournees. The prelude on Salve Regina is uh, to a certain extent linked to this organ concerto because it was written for uh, Jennifer Bate as a kind of a thanks because he did the British premiere of the uh, concerto for organ and orchestra. Jennifer Bate was a uh, known as, uh, and still is known as a very virtuoso organist, so she asked for Peters not to make it too easy and really virtuoso, which, which one hears in the opening part, which is uh, double pedal. So uh, it's, uh, it's a quite uh, uh, modern piece, uh, because it's a letter piece, but it's uh, very bold and powerful.
One of the consequences of doing a lot of tournees in the United States was of course that Rod Peters got a lot of requests to, for compositions. Uh, and one of these requests uh, was for the, the variations on an original theme, Opus 58, which was commissioned by uh, Elkem Vogel from the United States. Uh, Flor Peters wrote this uh, short theme himself, and it's followed by short variations, but it's very interesting because they give an idea of what kind of techniques and what kind of uh, style uh, Peters had. There is a, a typical uh, toccata figure, a la Dupre, but specifically there are also the quiet uh, passages where, where we hear uh, Peters very good in nostalgical and very nice melodies. Also the, the organ chorales of the Opus 68, 69, 70 and others, they were commissioned by uh, Walter Hinrichsen, which uh, was working for Peters, editor Peters at New York. And this uh, Opus 68 uh, is based on Protestant chorales, uh, which also Bach has, uh, has treated, but of course as they were edited in, um, in the States, they got English titles. Now, one of these is particularly interesting, uh, God to From or God, because uh, we hear a kind of a softer uh, Peters uh, in a style which maybe uh, refers to the choral preludes of Brahms.